Hey guys, Ivan here, and the word is out about Flex Lois, he's not doing the Mr. Olympia 2021. So we were all wondering, is he gonna do it, is he not gonna do it? But at 13 weeks out, we would probably know something, that he started his prep or anything. But no, there was nothing, radio silence. The last time he said something about what his plans are was last year when he decided not to do the mr olympia because his shoulders and his elbows and his knees i believe were hurting and aching and he had some issues for a long time so he decided to go and have some stem cell treatment a surgery i believe as well and he decided to properly recover and then do the mr olympia 2021 that was the plan but apparently he changed his plans twice now so he pulled out out of two mr olympias so anyways let me show you what he has to say about it it's a short version if you want to watch the whole version go to his youtube channel and watch the whole video i'm going to show you right here very quickly what he had to say the most important parts it's december of 2020 ended up going to Columbia Medellin where I done a variety of different areas on my of stem cells shoulders elbows knees I was told to take up to four months off training completely speeding it up to this day I am probably the best I felt in a number of years my shoulders are the best they've been in a decade I feel really good so now this year has come. We moved from one side of the country to the next. We managed to open up this fantastic facility. And that is in no shape or form the excuse of why I'm not competing. I've heard is the main topic of conversation as to why I'm not competing this year uh, and why I've had to pull out to the Olympia is my coach of 20 years, Neil Hill, is not going to be here, which couldn't be further from the truth. I have competed three quarters of my life with Neil being in the UK and he'd come in two weeks before the show so that rumor right there has to be cancelled it has nothing to do with why I'm not stepping on stage this year the main reason which I didn't really want to get into um, is myself and my wife are trying for another kid I'm not retiring and there's still so much burning desire and ambition for me to fulfill my bodybuilding goals and dreams and God willing injury free I will be on that Olympia stage next year so you heard it i mean the surgery the stem cell treatment and the injuries or anything like that that's not a problem he is healthy he feels great and apparently there was a rumor that the reason he's not competing is because neil hill his coach is not here not in the u.s with him i personally didn't even hear about that rumor but it doesn't really matter right now we know what is the reason him and his wife are gonna try for another child of course, he wasn't comfortable talking about this because it is very private, but a lot of people would be wondering and asking why, why he's not competing, and he didn't want to give us a fake reason, he told us exactly why. So now, at least we know, he's not gonna be competing, and the reason is him wanting another child, and he's gonna try it, but he's not retired. He's gonna compete next year, so it's gonna be a third year that he's promising to compete. So this is kind of starting to look a little bit like Kai Green story. Hopefully he is not lying. Hopefully his reasons are legit. Hopefully he will actually compete next year, but I'm losing my optimism for this to happen. He does say that he has still a lot of fire and that he wants to fulfill some of his bodybuilding dreams and goals, such as competing in the Open Mr. Olympia. As you guys remember, in 2012, he was beating Hari Chupan, who is now one of the most dangerous competitors who might very well win the Mr. Olympia this year. So, Flex Lewis is on that level, he was better than Hari. Sure, Hari was a little bit smaller back then, but... Flex Wheeler would also be bigger at the Mr. Olympia in the Open because uh, he was known for not even training in the offseason because he just had so much trouble cutting the way down. He didn't want to grow anymore and he would grow actually so easily. So he would just, you know, grow into the show and show up in 212 and, you know, win, dominate. So if he actually had the room to grow, you know, go full offseason, full blown mode. How much would he grow and what would that look like? That would be, I'm sure that would be something impressive. And that very well might even win the Mr. Olympia in the Open. I mean, Hari was third and fourth, but he was nowhere near his one Cooper Pro Show best edition. So if Hari is in conversation for winning the Mr. Olympia, why Flex Wheeler, who was able to beat Hari in 212, can't be in the same conversation for winning the Mr. Olympia in the Open? I think he could do that. I just hope he'll actually pull it together and actually decide and give it 100% and do it, finally. 
Though Mr. Olympia 2022 is a little bit too far away, if you guys have been wondering, will you see Flex Lewis with the Mr. Olympia 2021? Now you have your answer, Flex Lewis will not be competing this year. He is not retired, though, he will be competing, as he says, next year. So let's wait and see what happens until the next year, but this year, no Flex Lewis, unfortunately, very unfortunately, very bad news. But again, guys, it will be a little bit too much. A lot of great bodybuilders will grace the stage this year at Arnold's, at Mr. Olympia. So we're gonna have a lot of fun watching those guys, we don't really need Flex Lewis. I mean, it will be a great addition, but it's not really necessary. We don't need somebody to save the show, not this year. This year is gonna be a great Mr. Olympia and great Arnold Classic. It's gonna be a good year for bodybuilding, regardless. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Tell me what you think about this. Flex Lewis not competing in the comment section down below. Like this video and also subscribe for more bodybuilding news and all kinds of bodybuilding videos. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.